Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I know I look ratchet as hell. <laughs> okay, it's 2015 and um, my husband was sick at the end of the year and I kept telling him, baby, you go to the doctor, you need to go to the doctor. Do you go to the doctor? No. <clears throat> Something wrong with me, something wrong with me. But he's sucking now, Theraflu, mixed with some hot tidy recipes I threw together. But anyway, um, I think I'm getting that. But I had a little bit of energy, nothing. And um, I decided to make this video, remake this video, <laughs> because um, when I was editing the first one that I made, um, like the intro was a little bit unfocused and I was like, okay, I can live with that. But then my end, two minutes, was completely out of focus, so I could not do that to you guys. Um, so anyway, I wanted to do this video um, showing you guys how I get achieve flawless combination skin. And it wasn't anything I came up with on my own. Um, I just kind of um, adapted it to fit my own facial needs. And you guys, make sure you're doing that. Um, when we look at these other people, gurus, what have you, other people that we follow and support, um, when they do things for their face, make sure if you incorporate any of that, it fits with whatever works for your face, okay? So that being said, um, I got this brilliant, brilliant idea from Sarah Victor. If you don't know who she is, you would do yourself a service and check her out. I will put her the link to her um, updated foundation video in the description bar make sure you check her out when I was starting out um, beginning to be serious about my makeup artistry I uh, looked up a couple people that had different skin tones than I do and um, at that time I wasn't freelancing with Mac so um, the majority of my clients in the beginning were all Caucasian women believe that or not um, I didn't get African-American women and women of color till much later on so her videos were ones that I looked at poured over really studied um, to try to learn how to color match and um, just take care and enhance um, you know Caucasian women non women of color skin and she was one of the the better ones that I came across absolutely amazing so anyway um, she was talking about how she handles her skin and her um, issues with her skin and I was like oh my gosh I never thought of that you know because when we buy products we usually buy products for our problem areas right that's my that's me that's me okay so when I buy foundations I'm always looking for something that is going to take care of my oily skin because to me that's my problem but I'm only oily in my t-zone right so when the day goes on the outer perimeter of my face I feel like it's not as flawless looking um, as when I first started not that any of us are as flawless as we were when we first applied makeup. Does that make sense? So anyway, um, <laughs> I have to do this before I run out of energy <laughs> because I just want to crawl in my bed and drink some hot tea. And anyway, I could just like shake my husband. But anyway, um, so when you see me again, I'm going to you guys. You guys don't need to know what I use on my eyes or. Why are using my cheeks? We're just focusing on the foundation application part of this entire process. So I can show you how I used what she did to kind of make sure that I get flawless combination um, skin at the end of the day when I'm done with my foundation and makeup routine. <clears throat> so when I come back on, you're going to see me looking crazy with, um, you know, my highlighter, corrector, all this other I put on my face um, I can't cuss anymore in 2015 that's one of my it's one of my New Year's objectives so bear with me um, <laughs> yeah so anyway when I come back I have all that on and then I'm gonna walk you through what I do to get flawless combination skin and if you guys are interested please stay. okay you guys so I'm back so I look crazy y'all know that okay so anyway the first foundation that I'm gonna use is the one that's going to control my oil so that's gonna be in my t-zone area so T you know forehead T and it goes down to my chin okay so those are the areas that is the area where I have my oily skin so for me I have three foundations that I normally reach for at any given time if I run out of one I replace it all the time the first one is Estee Lauder double wear 
and the second one is the um, Max Studio Fix Fluid. And the third one, in my opinion, which is the best one, is the Becca um, Foundation. This color is Mink. This is the one I'm going to be using today. Um, this one I use for full-on glam um, coverage. This is the one that I probably wouldn't use every day. I don't wear makeup every day, by the way, if y'all haven't figured that out. <laughs> um, I don't want to make up every day, but if I'm going for that full flawless look, this is the foundation that I uh, pretty much reach for in terms of the controllability of oil is absolutely amazing. But what I noticed is when I use it on my entire face, the outer perimeter of my face starts to look very um, dry, like as it, as it wears on because it's doing its job, right? So this is the one I'm going to use today. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm not going to mix this one with anything. Yeah, I know normally I mix stuff all the time, all the freaking time, right? So, but for the center of my face, I'm not going to mix anything with this. I'm going to take a stippling brush. This is from, man, this is a Sedona Lace FB07. I've had this for forever. And I'm just going to buff that into my T-zone area. Um, I hope this video is not too long. I don't want to uh, speed it up. Because I kind of want you guys to see, I'm not going to be doing too many full face um, videos this year. Just focusing mainly on the eyes or tips and tricks that I can share with you guys. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my chin. Now, you guys know that I have laugh lines. I love to laugh. I love to make people laugh. So, 9 times out of 10, I'm going to be laughing during the day unless I'm resting bitch face. Anyway, I know I'm not cussing. That wasn't cussing, was it? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, we're going to work it around. Uh, for my laugh lines, I try to stay away from them. So if you notice, I'm working in the middle of my chin area and I'm moving. But I'm, the majority of the product, I've already placed at my chin. So if I do get some on my laugh lines, it's okay. It's not going to settle. And this is the one that is going to absorb, keep my skin matte, keep that oil away. So if it does get to the laugh line, it's not going to be um, grossly, overly um, emphasized. I hope that makes sense. So, just get it all in there. Around the chin. A little bit on the forehead. Doesn't take much. And you know what? By doing it this way, you're also going to save product, right? Because you're only going to use it in the area that you need it in. You're not going to use it on your whole face, wasting product that you don't need in that area. So, this is what it looks like with the Becca Foundation. Also, I'm trying a new lighting arrangement. Y'all know my lighting is the bane of my existence, so bear with me. Y'all let me know what you think about this one. Um, when I had to remake the video, this side of my face looked extremely dark, and it might this time too, but I kind of put a little light there. Uh, Y'all can see the shadow. I'm hoping it kind of helps that area out. But anyway, so yeah, this is what it looks like with the Becca just in the center. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what I use on the outer perimeter. Okay, so for the foundations I'm going to use on the outside of my face, I am going to be mixing. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Foundation. And I'm going to be using the MAC Face and Body Foundation. These are the uh, foundations I normally use in the summertime when I want uh, light to medium buildable coverage. These are the two that I normally reach for. I normally wear them separately and sometimes I will mix them with other things. You guys know that I'm always mixing something. Um, for a full coverage foundation but um, that light uh, silky kind of satiny look, you can reach for the NARS um, Sheer Glow. Uh, this is also a very good foundation as well. Uh, and also the Giorgio Armani um, Maestro is also a very light uh, foundation. This one's not so much buildable, but you can go from a light to a slight light medium coverage. With this one, you can build it up a little bit, but a little bit of this goes a long way. I would not recommend this if you have um, problem uh, skin. Like if you have hyperpigmentation, you would need to do a lot of um, work underneath to make sure this came out to be flawless. So for today, I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm going to take a pump of this on the back of my hand. I'm also going to be using the face and body foundation from MAC. I'm just going to put, I'm going to see if I can get it where you guys can see it. 
just a little bit of that in there and then I'm going to be because I like a um, matte finish and these are dewy and the center of my face is matte right okay so to maintain that matteness but also uh, because these foundations are um, light to medium coverage, they're not as heavy as the Becca Mink foundation. I'm going to add a little bit of Max Mixing Medium to make it to make sure that it's a little bit matte. I'm just going to do three drops. Just going to do about three drops of that. And you don't have to go through all this. If you have a um, foundation for your light to medium coverage days, just use that. You don't have to mix, you know doing all this like I do. You use what you have, but the concept, you understand what I'm saying, is what I'm trying to get across to you guys. I'm just showing you how it's applicable to my um, foundation needs and, and how I've incorporated it into my foundation routine. So just remember that. This is not you know, a video for you to go out and buy all this stuff. This is just a video to impart my knowledge to you guys. Something I've learned, so I'm passing it on to you. Okay, so same stippling brush. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna do this side of my face. Okay. So what I like to do, I like to start where I've contoured top and bottom, contour my, my jaw, and contour, no, contour my cheek, and contour my jaw. And I'm going to start in the middle, and I'm just going to buff this. Start here, I'm going to buff that along my jawline, and then I'm going to buff that in the area where I contoured, and I'm going to bring this up. Remember, I'm not going on my laugh lines. My laugh lines are my demarcation point, right? Not when I have... The majority of the product still on my brush even though I've taken some off I'm still being careful to avoid those little lines and then I'm gonna take this all the way around now I am going to kind of make sure these two areas are blended so you're going to overlap them does that make sense now right here I'm still kind of avoiding my laugh lines and I'm going around So that's how I do that side of my face. Okay, so for the forehead area, I'm going to start the outer perimeter where I put the Becca foundation, and then I'm going to work my way back into my hairline so that I make sure that those two areas are blended. And I'm just overlapping it just a little bit, coming down forward into my forehead area, just making sure that those are well blended. always coming back and just making sure everything is blended so for my nose area take a little bit and I'm going to just go down the center of my nose and on the side where those two products would meet and then I will swing around still avoiding the laugh line and going up to the chin area okay so that's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish this side of my face and when I come back we'll just discuss um, and I'm going to show you guys how the finished product looks. Okay so this is my face with the Becca foundation in the center to control my oil and then I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk mixed with Face and Body from MAC and a little bit of the MAC medium, mix medium mixing medium <laughs> all around the perimeter outside perimeter of my face. Okay so you can see it provides you know still skin tone looks pretty even um, I do have the shadows in because I contoured and I also corrected underneath so now off camera I'm going to highlight I'm gonna set my face and when I come back I'm gonna have a full finished face just so we can talk about some of the things that I've learned and some of the things I want to point out to you if you try to do this method so I'll be right back with um, a finished face okay guys so that is it so I come back I come back I come back with um, full face and added some hair because I just didn't have the energy or the strength to take down the twist so yeah this is it um, we were wearing Deborah Jessica finish it out and um, you really won't see the benefits or the results until you do it yourself and you wear the makeup like for a full day right like your full face makeup you wear for the day then I think that you'll be able to see the difference that you get when you just um, treat your problem areas with what is intended to be treated with and then the rest of your face that's um, uh, regular, like not oily, not dry, or if it's dry, treat those areas of your face with the products that, is, that, is, that are intended to treat those areas. 
So anyway, um, yeah, I found out I really, really like this. You would do yourself a favor if you check out Sarah Victor. She's absolutely amazing and she's extremely funny to me. <laughs> like, I think she's funny. But anyway, um, she also has like amazing makeup skills as well. So, um, yeah. The, um, you guys know this is not about the eyes. It's not about the eyes. It's about the foundation, right? So I will put all the products that I use in the information bar. If you have any questions, y'all know you can ask me. I will answer them. Um, happy 2015. Yes, this is actually my first video filmed in 2015, even though I had to redo it. I want to say thank you guys so much for all your support this year. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, this is something I do on the side. I do have a career, <laughs> regular job, <laughs> family, friends, a life. Um, YouTube is just a very small part of it, but I enjoy it immensely and I will keep doing it as long as I enjoy it. Um, and yeah, so you guys remember to rate, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please share. That's the only way I'm going to get myself out there is if you guys continue to share. I know that I'm beyond my close-knit circle of supporters um, just because of the comments, some of the comments that I get, some of the questions that I get. I know these are not people who've been with me for a while. Um, but yes, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. So anyway, I am rambling. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Please check out Sarah Victor. If you do, please tell her that I sent you guys. And, um, also, 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 before I forget, this year, um, every, the beginning of every year, I try to, um, just, like, come out of self. I hope that makes sense. And fast and pray and speak to God because... <laughs> And Jesus got to have, you know, some one-on-one -on -one time. I make sure, uh, I do it all the time, but I make sure at the beginning of the year that I try to listen to what he's trying to tell me, what direction he wants me to go in, those types of things. So, um, if I don't respond to you like I normally do, please forgive me because I will not be on social media as much. I will be posting videos and I will try to respond, but it won't be like immediately or in the next 24 hours or so. It might be a few days, a week or so later because I'm trying to... Um, limit the amount of time I'm actually on social media so anyway it'll probably be like weekends that I respond to you um, and I think I think that's about it I think that's all I got um, so yeah I will see you guys in the next video hopefully bye understand is it just me or like people at the end of their videos when they're like what is that <laughs> can y'all help me out like what is that